The Croatian capital is full of tourists, enjoying unusually beautiful weather for this time of year. But in Croatia's parliament, a political drama unfolded. A tense vote behind these doors, watched closely and on a knife edge over whether the country should train Ukrainian soldiers. EU military assistance mission Ukraine. Molim glasujmo. Glasovalo je 107 zastupnica i zastupnika, 97 je bilo za i 10 je bilo protiv. Tako da, budući da se ova odluka donosi dvotrčinskom većinom, ona nije donesena. Many MPs had avoided the vote and stayed away from the parliament, which is one of the reasons why the government failed to get the two-thirds support it needed. The reaction to the vote was split. The ruling coalition and its supporters blamed the opposition, and the opposition, however, had said the move could potentially pull Croatia into a conflict that many fear has the potential to spill over Ukraine's borders. Some here in Zagreb claim that the decision not to train Ukrainian soldiers is more the result of the internal struggle in the country, a struggle between Croatia's two political heavyweights. Those two are President Zoran Milanovic on the left and Prime Minister Andrei Plenković on the right. The President is a staunch critic of the EU, while the Prime Minister is more pro-Brussels. Each carries substantial political and public support. It is to be expected that Croatians could have uh, more understanding towards uh, Ukrainians than the, than the average uh, Europeans. Uh, but it was not uh, so, because, because mainly of this uh, uh, media, wild media campaign from the Croatian president and uh, some opposition leaders. Da su ukrajinski vojnici i te kako dobro trenirani i educirani, sasvim sigurno nije im potrebno da ih da ih u Hrvatskoj nešto posebno obučavaju. Prema tome ne vidimo razloga da bi da bi Hrvatska onda sebe tu stavljala u prvi plan nekakvog eh, ajmo potencijalnog proširenog sukoba. Regardless of the heat debate both sides do agree that Croatia will continue to support Ukraine, but the fine details of how and how much remain without consensus. Alyosha Milenković, CGTN, Zagreb.